In the intricate, often turbulent world of Hollywood, few stars shine as brightly yet endure as much darkness as Johnny Depp. Known for his captivating roles, Depp is also a figure of immense public intrigue, especially given his highly publicized legal battles and the subsequent journey toward redemption. Recently, Depp spoke candidly about his efforts to leave behind the baggage of resentment from these events, including his contentious trial with ex-wife Amber Heard, a media spectacle that gripped the world for six weeks. Now, two years after that chapter closed, Depp's reflections offer insights into his journey toward personal peace, a resilience forged in the face of public and private turmoil. Honestly, I can sit here this very second and think about all the hit pieces and how everybody was against me, Depp revealed in an interview, his words a raw acknowledgement of the intense scrutiny he faced. It was a time defined by accusations, doubts, and a polarized public, all fixated on every detail of his life. Reflecting on these experiences, Depp shared, it simply just was, and it simply just is. For Depp, acceptance became a tool to navigate a storm of emotions, shifting his focus from anger to resilience. Why carry that baggage? He mused, articulating a hard-won perspective that underscores his decision to move forward, untethered by the weight of past resentment. The defamation trial between Depp and Heard was nothing short of a media phenomenon, capturing the attention of millions worldwide. Live streamed to an audience of over 500 million viewers, the trial became a cultural event as people from around the globe watched two high-profile actors battle it out in a Virginia courtroom. The case revolved around accusations of abuse and defamation, with both Depp and Heard presenting their versions of events in a series of dramatic testimonies. Ultimately, the court found Heard liable for all three counts of defamation Depp had raised, while Depp was held accountable for only one. For Depp, this verdict was more than just a legal victory. It was a form of public vindication, a chance to reclaim his reputation. Heard's insurance company eventually paid a $1 million settlement to Depp, which he pledged to donate to charity, while this financial resolution marked the end of the legal proceedings. The emotional aftermath lingered. The trial unveiled shocking details about Depp and Heard's relationship, including an audio recording where Heard admitted to hitting Depp. I did not f deck you, Heard said in the recording. I was hitting you. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. The disturbing recordings highlighted the toxic dynamic between the two and painted a stark contrast to the romanticized image of Hollywood relationships. For many, this audio clip represented a pivotal moment, providing raw insight into a painful reality that often hides behind closed doors. While grappling with these revelations, Depp found refuge in his art, specifically through his iconic film roles. Known for disappearing into his characters, Depp used acting as a sanctuary from his chaotic personal life. Being in the vast wilderness taught me a lot, he said, reflecting on how immersing himself in different roles provided a buffer from his reality. Acting became a therapeutic outlet, a way to channel his energy and focus away from the chaos surrounding him. For Depp, the world of cinema offered a semblance of control, an arena where he could shape narratives and explore emotions safely removed from his own life. It was this escape that helped him cope, and his dedication to his craft continued to shine, even during his darkest times. Yet Depp remained acutely aware of the inescapable nature of his public image. It's like OJ or something, but hey, it just happened. That's all, he noted, recognizing the inevitability of being etched into public consciousness, just as other notorious figures have been. Depp's journey in Hollywood has been marked by both critical acclaim and personal trials. His latest project, Modi, Three Days on the Wing of Madness, is a biopic centered on Italian artist Amadeo Modigliani, set in Paris during 1916. Depp's passion for this project is palpable, as it represents a significant return to the director's chair, a position he hadn't taken since his 1997 film, The Brave. That project, though deeply personal to Depp, was widely panned, leaving a lasting impact on his self-perception as a director. Recalling the critical response to The Brave, Depp reflected, I remember very well the come down of the critics on The Brave, and all it did was make me understand. The sting of that failure may have lingered, but it ultimately became a lesson in resilience, shaping Depp's approach to future endeavors. Now, with Modi, Depp returns to the director's chair with renewed confidence and the support of none other than Al Pacino, who originally wanted to direct him in the project back in 1997. The collaboration with Pacino, a Hollywood legend, adds gravitas to Modi, symbolizing a full circle moment in Depp's career. In addition to his work in film, Depp has ventured into the world of visual arts, a passion he's nurtured over the years. This October, he unveiled his first art exhibition, 
a bunch of stuff at the Star at Lehigh building in Manhattan's Chelsea neighborhood. Running until November 30th, the exhibition showcases a side of Depp that many are unfamiliar with, his flair for creativity outside of acting. Depp's artwork is as eclectic and expressive as his acting roles, offering fans a glimpse into his mind. For Depp, this exhibition is more than just an artistic endeavor. It's a personal statement, a celebration of his journey, and a testament to his resilience. It marks a period of transformation, a way for him to communicate his experiences without words. Through his art, Depp shares his story on his own terms, allowing fans to see beyond the Hollywood facade. Amid all the chaos, Depp has remained a devoted father to his two children, daughter Lily Rose, Rose and son John III, known as Jack, whom he shares with French singer Vanessa Paradis. Depp's relationship with Paradis, which spanned 14 years, ended amicably in 2012, but the bond between Depp and his children has remained strong. In fact, his role as a father has often served as a grounding force, providing him with a sense of stability and purpose during turbulent times. Lily Rose, now a rising star in her own right, has followed in her father's footsteps, embracing a career in acting and modeling. Jack, on the other hand, has chosen a more private path. Depp's commitment to shielding his children from the harsh spotlight that has followed him is evident, as he has taken great pains to keep them away from the public eye. For Depp, his children are his greatest treasures, a reminder of life's beauty amidst the storm. Depp's career is far from over. In January, he will reunite with director Terry Gilliam to portray Satan in the carnival at the end of days, a dark and thought-provoking film also starring Jeff Bridges, Adam Driver, and Jason Momoa. Depp and Gilliam have a history of collaboration, and this project marks an exciting new chapter for both. The role of Satan seems tailor-made for Depp, allowing him to explore a character that is both intense and complex, a role that resonates with his penchant for the darkly eccentric. For Depp, this collaboration with Gilliam is more than just another role. It's an opportunity to reassert his artistic prowess and push the boundaries of his craft. The film's themes of chaos and morality mirror the actor's own journey, making it a fitting addition addition to his repertoire. Fans eagerly anticipate Depp's portrayal, curious to see how his personal experiences may influence his performance. Johnny Depp's story is one of survival, resilience, and reinvention. From the devastating lows of public scandal to the soaring highs of artistic triumph, he has weathered a storm that few could endure. His ability to transform pain into art, to find solace in creativity, and to maintain a commitment to his family speaks to his strength of character. While the scars of his past are unlikely to fade entirely, Depp's journey offers a lesson in forgiveness and the power of moving forward. Depp's reflections on his past Past. His embrace of new creative ventures and his unwavering devotion to his children reveal a man who has emerged from the shadows, stronger and wiser. For Depp, the path ahead is no longer about shedding his past, but rather embracing it as part of his story. His recent endeavors in art and film are not just career moves. They are expressions of resilience, of a man determined to write his own narrative. In a world that often defines celebrities by their controversies, Depp has shown that there is life beyond the headlines. His journey is a testament to the power of self-discovery and redemption, proving that even in the most challenging times, there is always room for growth and hope. Johnny Depp may forever be remembered for his tumultuous past, but he is also a symbol of the resilience needed to overcome it. As Depp continues to forge new paths in art and film, he remains an artist who defies categorization, a man who has learned to carry his burdens lightly and live authentically. Whether in his portrayal of complex characters, his directorial efforts, or his visual artwork, Depp's story continues to captivate, reminding us all that the most compelling narratives are those of human resilience and reinvention.